So in the last session, we created value sets for company department account, and we created chart of account structure name. And within the structure, we have to create the segments. We'll go and create the segments. So what is the task name to create the chart of account structure? Chart of accounts structures. The task name is manage chart of account structures. Click on this task. In value sets we created, structure also we created. Within the structure, we are going to create the segments. Click on go to task icon. And click on search. Here we can see application general ledger. We have accounting flex field in the general ledger. Now click on manage structures. From this page only we created our chart of account structure. Let's find it. We give a name as this, right? We give an ERP3 accounting flex field. Search and find. This is a structure we created. Now open this structure. Select this record. Click on edit. This is a structure we created. Within this, we have to create the segments. To create the segments, click on create icon. So we want to create three segments. First segment is company. Company. In the last session itself, we discussed how to create also, right? The same, I'm going to repeat the same data. Sequence number is one prompt, nothing but display name for the segment. Short prompt, you can take the segment name as a short prompt or else you can take as short name. And display width, the segment, the field width, we require in how many characters, say 30. So we discussed max, you can create 30 segments. Now we are creating the segment one. And to company segment, assign company value set. Click on search. Our value set name is ERP3 company. Select and say okay. For company segment, which label we have to assign primary balance in segment label. The purpose and all we'll discuss very soon, but now just you can assign. Here is the primary balance in segment label. You can select, select this label and say move selected values or else double click. Double click, it would get selected. That means we are assigning primary balance in segment label to company segment. Now say save and close. Let's click on save and close. We created one segment. The same time if somebody is working on the same chart of accounts, it doesn't allow. Only the option is we have to wait for some time. Now click on create to create second segment that is department. So department. Automatically system will copy as a API name. Take name, description, same. And sequence number, take two. For company, we given one. For a department, you can take two. There should not be gap in between the sequence. If there is any gap with this chart of accounts, you cannot create the transactions. So make sure that there is no gap between the segment numbering, nothing but sequence numbering. Prompt um, department name we want to see as a department only while we record the transactions. You can give the short name. Display width, you can give 30 for this department segment field also. Now select segment two. The segment one, you cannot create one more segment, okay? It should be segment two only. Now assign department value set to department segment. Okay, assign department seg value set to department segment. Yeah, put three department. Yeah. 
one second. Yep. Select and say OK. And for department, what label we have to assign? Cost center segment label. But it is not compulsory. When it will be compulsory, mandatory, we will discuss. But company, you have to assign primary balance and segment label. Account, you have to assign natural account segment label. For a department, cost center is not mandatory. You can ignore also. Let's assign so that we can understand which scenarios we can use it. So here is a cost center segment label. Double click. That would get selected. That means we are assigning cost center segment label to department segment. Say save and close. We created two segments. Click on create. And segment name is account. Copy the segment code, take as a name and a description. Sequence, it's going to be third segment in our chart of accounts. Prompt is same. You can give the short prompt. Short name. So I display with this 30. Column name, segment three. Assign. ERP tree, account value set. Select value set and say OK. For account value set, account segment, which label you have to assign? For account segment, which label? Natural account segment label. Assign it. We will discuss and understand the purpose and all. Here is a natural account segment label. Double click. That is assigned to account segment. And say save and close. Click on save and close. Click on done. Now we are ready with our chart of account structure. Okay, we created segments within that. For each segment, we assign value sets, right? Assign value sets to segment that also we completed. For three segments, we assign three value sets. For each segment, we assign segment label, right? These three segment labels we assign to these three segments. Right. Now, if you want to use this chart of account structure. Okay. So with these details, we create a chart of account structure. If you want to use this chart of account structure in our system environment, it is not possible. By using this chart of account structure, you cannot create the transactions. If you want to create the chart of account, if you want to create the transactions in the chart of account structure that you have to copy, that you have to copy, the copy definition only you can use in the applications to record the transactions. There are several reasons. There are several reasons to support high period reporting and few other concepts like high period budgeting and all. This instance is ideally required. So in, instead of using chart of account structure, the instance can be used in the high period and other products. That is the reason every chart of account structure which we create that we have to copy the copied one only we can use to record the transactions in any application. Directly, you cannot use chart of account structure to record the transactions. So we have to copy our chart of account structure that we call as chart of account structure instance. By clicking on this manage structures, we created our chart of account structure here. Now we have a tab called as manage structure instances. Go to Manage Structure Instances and click on Create. So what name we given for Chart of Account Structure? This is the name we given. Okay. Now we'll give the name as ERP3 Accounting Flex this as a instance name so that we can uniquely identify what name we given for chart of account structure what name we given for instance when we are going to use which we are using also you can understand if you can give some different name but reality you can create the instance also with the same name 
now we are practicing we have to observe a few things that is the reason i am taking the name as erp3 accounting flex for the instance name otherwise you can take the same name as a instance name also now we have to identify which one we are going to use when we record the transactions that is the reason i am making small difference in the name you can give structure instance code erp3 accounting flex our structure name is accounting flex field here i am giving erp3 accounting flex use tab the same name it will copy as the api name the api purpose is same at the time of segments creation we discussed the api the field technical people can use for any technical development purpose that can be integrations or reports and other developments you no need to touch that api name field related data which system is copying from the instance code don't touch this field data don't change anything in this you copy this structure instance code take same as a name as well as a description you can notice description field is not mandatory it is optional if you want to provide the data you can provide otherwise ignore it i'm providing now we are going to create chart of account structure instance against which chart of account structure that structure you have to select here structure name select structure name the structure name is erp3 accounting flex field okay by copying this erp erp3 accounting flex field we want to create instance select okay within this chart of account structure we have three segments three segments are copied into this instance now these three segments we have to select as a required here you can see one column called as required okay nothing is selected as required now select company click on edit mark as required and say okay and select department click on edit mark as required and say okay select account click on edit mark as required click on okay so this is how we have to create the instance instance is nothing but copy we have to create copy of chart of account structure that we are calling as instance so here okay here we are copying and we are marking as required if you take example of ebs could be 11a or r12 you no need to create the instance and all you no need to create instance and all because of the fusion they they are just introduce certain new applications and new features to support that we are creating this instance primarily in the hyperion reporting and all this instance is required if you have chart of account structure that structure you cannot use in the hyperion applications so that is the reason it is mandatory since they are quite different products from the different uh, software vendors to support the different applications logics of usage of this chart of account structure also they just taken this concept called as chart of account structure instance but you take a simple example if you are going to use hyperion products within the fusion application instance is required for that purpose they created for us there is no big difference between the chart of account structure and instance so we are copying the chart of account structure that we are calling as instance now instance level what are the information is available accordingly user will be able to have access to the data okay we'll see like when we create certain setups there you can notice what we are going to select now here we have to understand the chart of account structure acts as a template okay it acts as a template so by using the chart of account structure you can create a number of instances also okay we can create a number of copies this is the point we have to notice 
So the chart of account structure level, we created segments and for each segment, we assigned value sets. Those value sets, if you want to override, you can override here. Instance level, you can override. You can select company, you can click on edit. If you want to change the value set at instance level, you can change. You can select different value set, okay, which is different from your chart of account structure. Ideally, we never do that, not at all required. Whatever we require that we provide at chart of account structure level, the same system will copy. And the one system will copy, we will mark all those segments as required. If you, if you don't select department as not required, you cannot use this chart of account structure instance to record the transactions. We have to make sure that all are marked as required. That's a very important point to understand. So this is how we have to create the chart of account structure instance. The checkboxes, what you see here, will come to know. Those are separate functionalities. When you create, when you start creating the transaction, we'll go through one by one. Yeah. So try to understand how to create the chart of account structure and chart of account structure instance. You can say save and close. Click on done. Our chart of account structure instance is ready. Now, this chart of account structure and instance, okay, both are available in the accounting flex field, right? Here, within this accounting flex field only, we created structure and structure instance. After creating the structure and structure instance, we have to submit this accounting flex field for deployment, validation purpose. When you submit for validation, what system will verify? So within this instance, okay, within this instance, I am not talking about chart of account structure instance. This instance, okay, this you can call as instance or you can call as pod also. This we are calling as instance. Okay, instead of calling as instance, you can call as pod, POD pod, like iPod, lightweight. Okay, in this instance, in this pod, okay, in this pod, so how many chart of account structures we have, this all system will validate, which are part of this accounting flex field. Go to manage structures, click on search. You have many chart of account structures in this instance. Now this all it will validate along with our new chart of account structure. If anything wrong with any one of this chart of account structure, the deployment process will get stopped. And it will throw error message in so and so chart of account structure, so and so issue we have. Ideally, what are the issues we come across when you submit for validation or you can say deployment? When you deploy accounting flex field, system primarily to verifies the primary balancing segment label and natural account segment label, these two are assigned to two segments or not. Or these two labels are assigned or not, it will check. If one label is assigned to more than one segment, that also system will identify as issue. That's how we get error messages and we have to go and fix those. Say that chart of accounts created by somebody. Now you created your chart of accounts, you are submitting for a deployment. We don't have an option of submitting each chart of accounts for a deployment. Say for example, I created this chart of accounts. Okay, I created this chart of account. I cannot deploy my chart of account separately. So what we have to do is all the chart of accounts are part of accounting flex field. The entire accounting flex field you have to submit for a deployment. When you submit for a deployment, if any issues with any chart of accounts, the deployment process will get stopped. That means our chart of accounts also not going to be deployed. So in complete process, it will stop. Okay, complete process. Please don't play with this tool, Zoom. Somebody has started doing drawing and all. Please. Okay. So it has to, okay, it has to deploy all the chart of account structures. If anything wrong with any one of the chart of account structure, the deployment process will be stopped. When we do the practice and all, we don't have any other option. We have to fix that issue, then only we can proceed. Okay, then only we can proceed. For our testing purpose, okay, I'll just, we will go and do, 
some will create one issue select any one of the chart of account structure here click on edit that will create any segments at all we'll see other chart of account structure they created for example for company i'm going to remove this primary balancing segment label it is mandatory the primary balancing segment label you have to assign now what will happen you see this is what you have to understand okay forget about who created that within that there is no primary balancing segment label for company segment now we created our own chart of accounts and we created instance the next step is we have to submit our accounting flex fill for a deployment. Just click on deploy flex fill. Okay, wait for a second. Okay, the deployment process identified something wrong in this accounting flex fill with some chart of account structure. So you can see flex field metadata validation one error is identified zero warnings if you find any warnings no issues if you find errors only you cannot proceed what is that error if you want to see you can expand it okay you can expand it here scroll little down you have to read this content text very carefully so, error flex field metadata validation error so what is readable you can read the rest you can skip so here primary is saying you must assign a required label okay a gl balancing gl balancing means balancing segment label primary balancing segment label it is saying you must assign a required label called a gl balancing means primary balancing segment label to at least one segment in every chart of account structure, you have to assign the primary balance and segment label. GL balancing means primary balance and segment label. That is the code it is giving. The name is primary balance and segment label. You must assign a required label called as primary balance and segment label to at least one segment in every chart of accounts. And in which chart of accounts we have that issue? Here it is giving the chart of account structure name. Okay, the structure name is this is a structure okay this is structure name you need to assign required segment label to the same again it is repeating the same message see here so clearly it is giving the information the issue in which chart of accounts now what we have to do is this is not created by us somebody created say they forgot to assign primary balance segment label to company or natural account segment label to department this is how you get message error message so now you can go to this chart of accounts when you are learning when you use this practice instances you come across with these issues please aware how to fix those when you are working for your client there won't be too many chart of accounts okay you will be the one who will create the chart of accounts so that you never face these issues but when you are using this practice instances so we create many chart of accounts somebody may create chart of accounts as incomplete chart of accounts there we face these issues you may create properly if somebody is not creating properly when you submit for deployment system will identify those issues we have to fix then our chart of account also will get deployed so i'm copying this chart of accounts name say okay go to manage structures search for the chart of account structure code this is the one you can click on edit so go to company click on edit assign primary balance and segment label and say save and close this is how you can fix it i'll take another example also search
take any one of the chart of accounts. So I'm selecting this chart of accounts created by somebody. Click on edit. Okay. Here, multiple segments we have. We'll see when we discuss about multiple segments, we'll take that example. How you can ignore that. Talking about just three segments. Select this, click on edit. Mm, we created different segments. Click on edit. So I'm going to account segment. Click on edit. I'm removing natural account segment label. The natural account segment label is mandatory for account segment, but I'm removing. Now again, submit for a deployment. What system will do, you can understand. So I deploy FlexFill. Again, error message. Here, what it is saying? You must assign a required label to GL account. Here, GL account means natural account segment. Okay. So, GL balancing means primary balancing segment label. GL account means natural account segment. Okay. You must assign a required label okay, to at least one segment. GL account means natural account segment label. So where the label is missing in this chart of account. This is how you find errors. If any chart of account is incomplete definition or any labels are missing, then you have to go back and you have to fix those. Say those chart of accounts are not created by you, but you are deploying entire accounting flex field. You have to fix those issues or else you cannot complete the deployment for your chart of account structure. Now click on edit. Go to account. Click on edit. For account, you have to assign natural account segment label. So save and close. Fine. Say so now the natural account segment label, I'm going to assign to other segment also. You should not do that. Okay. If you assign, if you remove, there will be issue. Okay. But you never, for practice purpose also, you don't do it. Since this is created by somebody, I'm using it. Otherwise, you should not assign. If you assign, system will do something. It will assign some properties those you cannot reverse also. Now again, submit for a deployment. Again, issue. What is issue? Read that message. You can assign a unique segment label called as GL account means natural account to only one segment within the chart of accounts. In one chart of accounts, you can assign the label to only one segment. See, you can assign, read this text. You can assign a unique segment label called as GL account. GL account means here they are giving as a code. Okay, that is nothing but natural account segment. You can assign unique segment label called as natural account segment label to only one segment. Now what we did, the natural account segment label we assign to account as well as department also. So that is also issue. Okay, you should not do that. So just go back to the same. Search. Click on edit. Go to department. Click on edit. Double click, it will be removed. This is save and close. Please be aware of these points when you submit your accounting flex field for a deployment. Okay. Within accounting flex field, whatever the chart of accounts we have, system will try to deploy all those. If anything wrong with any one of the chart of accounts, system will stop the deployment process and it will display the errors in which chart of accounts, which issue we have.
the primary errors are only labels only. The primary balancing under natural account segment labels are assigned or not, it will check. Okay, say for example, we'll go to our chart of account structure only. Okay, go to our chart of account structure. Click on edit. I'm going to company. Click on edit. Remove. Go to account. Remove. Go to department. Remove. Now submit for deployment. What will happen? You can see. So only primary balance and segment label and natural account segment label, these two only mandatory. Even if you don't assign cost center segment label to department segment, the deployment process is not going to give any error at all. Just say deploy flex field. Now see the error message. You must Let's see. You must assign a required label to GL account. Okay. Required label, GL account means natural account segment label to one segment where the structure name is ERP3 accounting flex field. And uh, here, what we have to do, you have to go and fix it. The saying account lab label. Okay. GL account means natural account segment label it have to assign it is giving the message I'll go and fix it. Account right I'm just going to department department level also label is not there notice it. It is giving the message for account only so uh, GL account means account natural account segment level is not assigned it is saying that need to be assigned to account i'm going to account click on edit assign natural account segment label so save and close now i'll click on save and close okay, it was displaying the message only for account related gl account that was the label name nothing but natural account segment label that we fixed now again, I'm submitting for deployment. Now again, it identified another issue that is related to balancing. Okay, GL balancing means primary balancing segment label. You must assign a required label called as GL balancing, nothing but primary balancing segment label to at least one segment in this chart of account structure. Again, you have to go and fix. Click on edit. Company, click on edit. Assign. Natural account segment label. So, company, right? Primary balance and segment label. So save and close. Now, if you submit for a deployment, it won't show any error message for department. It won't show any error message. It is not mandatory. These two are mandatory, primary balancing and natural account. Where for department cost center is mandatory, we will discuss. Let's assign this. Where if you submit deployment, it won't ask you to assign. It will complete the process. Now you can click on deploy flex field. Hope you, you got these points, how you have to deal with this deployment, how you have to fix that issues, okay, what system is going to verify labels are assigned or not. The same label is assigned more than one segment or not, it will check. Okay. If any issues with that, it will stop the process with error. If you find the warnings, no issues, you can proceed. I'm going to submit accounting flex field for a deployment. Now it will take some time. Still, if any issues in any one of the chart of accounts, it will display. Okay. So it takes some time. Meantime, any questions from anyone on the same, please.
And another point here. So you created your chart of account structure and you submitted this accounting flex field for a deployment. The deployment is completed. After completing the deployment, say somebody created one more chart of accounts in that something is wrong. We no need to worry about it. Our chart of account structure we created at a deployment also completed. After deployment, if somebody is creating the chart of accounts and anything wrong in the chart of accounts, you no need to worry about it. So you have to consider that point. Okay. So while we deploy, if any issues we have to fix. After deployment, what are the new chart of accounts will be created? We no need to worry about those. Our chart of account status system will set as a deploy because we deployed entire accounting flex field after creating. Sir, uh, in the company, they will like uh, uh, one chart of account, right? One or multiple also, mostly one. There is a concept called as enterprise structure. Maybe after two, three sessions, we will discuss about it. There I'll explain how to design the solution for any company. There I'll talk about it. Most of the cases, one, sometimes more than one also. What are the cases we will discuss? Ideally, you can take as one only. Yeah, and uh, and uh, the same chart of account can we copy for uh, other instances? Sorry, uh, like uh, if it is one, so the same chart of account in uh, can we copy for um, other instance like for all the uh, other users? Yes, yes, yes. You, know, you don't need to copy. You have to understand how generally we use the chart of accounts. You will come to know that very soon. Okay. When we do the setups, we will see like user wise, we don't copy by using this chart of accounts. We create something within that we include it. Yeah. And um, um, you say pod, right? So pod is a technical name of that uh, part or like? No, 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 no. Ideally, the instance you can call as a pod. It's not a technical okay. name. Ideally, we call as just pod. Instance or pod. In the cloud instance, we call as a pod. Okay, so 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 it will be a technical name only, right? Or like uh, like uh, if any Not if in the company term, like instance also technical. If you say like that, mm -hmm. right? You have iPod, right? iPod. Why you are calling iPod like that is an Apple product? Pod. Why you are calling? It's very lightweight, right? Light lightweight, mm -hmm. which you can just uh, play music, etc. Okay. Say this instance is cloud instance, very lightweight, virtual server. Mm -hmm. These okay. are for the instance as a pod also. Yeah. So it's a deployed. Okay. And remember one more point when you practice, if many chart of accounts are there in the instance which you are using, it takes time. It takes five minutes, 10 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes one hour also. If it is taking 30 minutes, one hour, what you can do is submit for a deployment and leave it for some time and take a break and you can try after a few, like maybe minutes or hours also sometimes. Okay. So if it is taking more time, you don't need to wait in front of that. Okay. Just wait for a few minutes. If it is going to be completed in a few minutes, okay, or else. So you create your chart of accounts, you submit it for a deployment. Maybe after some time, you can proceed with the further setups. This is how you can plan because these are the practice instances. In every instance, you can find many chart of account structures. When you submit for a deployment, it may complete immediately. It may take too much of time also. So you can plan accordingly So based on how much time it is taking. If it is taking too much of time, submit and leave it. After a few minutes or hours, you try. By the time your chart of accounts will be deployed. So that's what we have to understand. Any other questions? The same. Yes, sir. Facing an issue uh, saying that the segment doesn't have a corresponding segment instance. Segment is equal, segment code is equal to company. Yeah, we'll see that. Those issues we'll see in the end of the session. Hi, sir. We have in this chart of accounts nine steps are there, right? Create value sets like that. Yes, yes. These are the. Yeah. Can you explain that one in a simple manner? Again. Have you attended session? Yeah, attended. What What you are not able to understand? Is the sequence uh, we need to follow while creating chart of accounts 100%, right? Correct. 100% same sequence. See, for example, 
you are going to create the segment. When you create the segment, you have to assign the value set, right? Yes. That is the reason you have to create the value set first. Okay. So with the, where, where we are going to create the segments within the chart of account structure. That is the reason first okay. to create the chart of account structure. Inside of the chart of account structure only, you can create the segments. Okay. Segments. The same sequence. Yesterday also I was talking about the same. This is a fixed sequence. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you have any doubt, let me know. I don't have issue to discuss multiple times. No, no problem. Discuss. But if you if it's everything is clear for you, I don't need to explain. That is a, that is the point I am addressing. Okay. I am interested to explain anything, any question. No issues in that. So if you want to yeah. understand anything here, any clarity you require, let me know. I'll explain. Okay. If you say okay. very generic, not required. Already we are discussing the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hi, okay. uh, one question, please. Please. Yeah. So when out of these three segments that we spoke, like a company, department, and accountant, suppose we have not attached a cost center label for department and we deployed, and subsequently can we open and redeploy after that? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Anytime you can go and assign that label. And whenever you assign the label to department, again, it will ask you to submit the deploy deployment. If you don't deploy, system won't consider as you assign that label to department. It won't take that updates. Okay, thank you. Yeah, fine. Now you see one more question. Maybe it is not uh, from this session, but uh, yesterday, uh, like a couple of days back, I was not there, but uh, you created um, the the calendar the calendar one second, one second. On... one second we'll discuss calendar later now concept is not calendar chart of account yeah. okay. okay from previous classes if any questions you have those we'll discuss in the end of the session please okay okay thank you thank you fine now the state i'll take your questions give me one second so now the status is deployment completed successfully okay now you can say okay Sometimes you may see warnings in some instances when you submit for a deployment. You may see warnings. You don't need to worry about it. The warnings are not going to stop this deployment process. If you have errors, then only the deployment process will get stopped. If you find warnings, don't worry about it. Now say OK. Now here you can see deployment status as a deploy tick mark. OK, it is showing the tick mark. That means it's deployed. Now, somebody will go and do some changes, or if they create like uh, some chart of accounts, creation, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we no need to worry about it. Okay, I'll go to this any one of the chart of accounts. I'll just go and uh, remove and I'll assign just for your information purpose. I'll do some changes. I did some changes. Say somebody did. Again, if you come back to here, here the change is not reflecting. Ideally, if you do something, it will change the status to edit it, or else let me create something. Now see, the deployment status is edited. Within this accounting flex field, some changes are occurred. Now it is updating the status as a edited. Now you don't need to worry about the deployment and all. Already our chart of account structure is deployed. We submitted, we have seen the status as a deployed. Okay. So even if you see the status as a edited, now you don't need to worry about it. You can leave it. After deployment only, somebody did some changes and all. If they don't deploy, what are the changes they did? That system won't consider. But for existing chart of accounts, which is already deployed, it is not going to impact at all. This is what we have to understand about this deployment status. Any other questions related to this chart of accounts creation, whatever we have seen so far on these points and deployment process, any questions from anyone, please? We deployed also, right? This task also we completed. Any questions here, please? We'll discuss there are many other points which you have to understand related to chart of accounts. So the more segments also will create the chart of accounts. 
and many other points we have to discuss and we have to understand to get ready with the chart of accounts concept. Now it is just the process of how to create the chart of accounts and I'm trying to discuss few points as of now. Once we start using the chart of accounts, we'll create one more chart of accounts with a more number of segments. There we'll discuss how it works in reality. Yeah, those we will discuss. Yeah, sir, I have one question. Uh, we have we have deployed and we have created and deployed the COA in lower instance. So in a real time situation, when we have to deploy that uh, this COA for the client. So do we deploy that in a production instance or again in the lower instance or in both? Are you talking about copying the setups or what? Uh, no, my question is if we if it's a new client and we have to create a chart of accounts in Oracle Fusion, okay. so we first do test it in uh, uh, lower instance like UAT. Yeah, test instance. First, you do all the setups in the test instance, and when you create in the test instance and test instance only, you have to deploy it. Then you will test everything. If everything is fine, we'll move to production. The same setups you can move from test to production. So we can uh, move this, I mean, close this uh, chart of account from UAT instance to production instance. So could you please repeat? I, I mean to say that we can clone or we can copy yes. this uh, directly or we have to create from the start in production again. Exactly, exactly. Two options are available. Yeah. You can copy the setups from one to another instance or else you can create everything from the scratch. Got it. Yeah, uh -huh. thanks. Lakshman, for example, uh, yeah. a person has created a chart of account and he left in between uh, uh, the chart of account to submit or whatever it is. Yeah, and that happens person... in case of practice instances. Your example is applicable to practice instances. Yes, okay. Somebody but, but the... as long as we complete his setups, the other person cannot able to submit, right? Okay, somebody not able to... between. What is your question? What is the next point? As long as he completes its chart of accounts, the other person cannot able to deploy uh, his own chart of account, right? In that no, case, no, no, no. Anyone can deploy. Anyone can deploy. If the no, no, no. on the same question... page, one second. If the person is on the same page, say now I'm going to click on deploy. Already you are working on your chart of accounts. Or else already you submitted deployment from your end in the same instance. Now, if I try to submit for a deployment, the deployment doesn't work. I'll show you in one, one instance. Okay. So I'll go to deployment. Not this environment, I'll use other one. You can go to search from here, also, you can find chart of account structures. Click on search. So status is edited. Think somebody is working on this instance for chart of account structure creation and all, or else they submitted for deployment already. If you click on deploy FX field, okay, it will give message like that. See here. Another user is currently editing or deploying the FX field. You see this message. This is how you'll get message. Say they created in between they left. Now they are not accessing this chart of accounts creation page or they didn't submit for a deployment. Then you can proceed with that. You can submit for a deployment. You'll get error message. You have to fix so that you can proceed. That's all. So in this case, how do you identify which chart of account it's pointing out? Here, what, is, what it is pointing, it is saying some other user is working. It is not pointing some issue is with so and so chart of accounts. If an issue is there, it will display the issue. 
Before, okay. So if any another user is accessing this page, it will give this message. Now it's saying some other user also working along with you. Okay. Okay. Somebody is accessing okay. chat of account page same time. It will give this message. Say that user is like uh, just close that page. Now if you submit, then it will start verifying if anything wrong with any one of the chat of accounts definition creation. Okay. So there is no user is working or not. If another user is working, it will show you that message. Then you have to stop working on it. No other user is working. Second step, it will verify if everything is fine and all the chart of accounts are not. It will check. If everything is fine, okay, it will get deployed. If something is wrong, it will throw deployment error message that we have seen. Understood. There is no such way where we can deploy only one chart of account in Fusion, right? No, no option. In EBS, we have like you can compile separate chart of accounts. So you can select your chart of accounts in EBS. You can click on compile. Your chart of accounts will be compiled. Other chart of accounts you are not touching. In the Fusion, they given the deployment, which is equal to compile for all the chart of accounts which are in the accounting flex field. Instead of chart of account level, we are performing the deployment at accounting flex field level in Fusion. Understood. Thank you. Yeah, fine. So done. We have seen how to perform the. Uh, Lakshmi sir, one question, yes. sir. Why we are not uh, doing deployment first before this uh, instance creation? Okay. Why we are not doing the deployment? The system has to identify against this chart of account structure instance also created, so it will mark. Okay. For which chart of account structure, what are the chart of account structure we created that is deployed or not, that will be marking at instance level also. That is the reason after completing all these only, you have to submit for a deployment. Okay, so the uh, means like uh, whatever changes we are doing at deployment, the correction, I mean, whatever mm -hmm. doing, that will also uh, means auto updated at instance level of chartered account. What kind of changes? Uh, suppose you shown some examples, we missed to update the primary balancing segment or any other thing in our uh, instance also we uh, first created. No? So we are changing uh, in the main chart of account structure that changes, we're correcting the errors, then we are deploying and testing that only. So instance will automatically update it with that change. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. For that, you don't need to do anything. See, when you do the changes at your chart of accounts level, those will reflect the chart of account structure instance. But you have to deploy your chart of account structure. What are the changes we did for your chart of accounts? If you want to reflect those changes to your instance level, chart of account structure instance level, first you have to deploy accounting flex. Okay. So you did some changes to your chart of account structure. If you want to deploy those, the labels, assignments and all, if you want to uh, reflect to your instance level also, instance level, it won't display, but it will take all the updates from the structure. The same changes, if you want to reflect in the system environment first, you have to submit for a deployment. Okay. You did it, say you do any changes at structure level or chart of account structure instance level, you have to submit for deployment. Then only you can see the changes when you record the transactions. Okay. Yeah. Have to notice. Okay. Follow the same sequence, same sequence we have to follow. Now we'll go and create segment values. Okay, we have three. So what are the other uh, setups that require deployment? Only chart of accounts are in there. No, I didn't get your question. No, what are the other, uh, these are configurations and setups, right? And the chart of accounts is one of the configurations that we are deploying to at the instance level. So uh, are there any other uh, configurations that have to be also need to be deployed or uh, like a, like a chart of accounts at the instance well, level? Mostly we don't have such kind of concepts. Okay. Okay. Mostly no, nothing. So we don't do deployment other than this chart of accounts. Only for this chart of accounts, accounting flex field only we have deployment. 
Rest of all the setups, anything you can just create that would be ready. You no need to submit for validation. While you create only, it will verify if anything wrong. So what is the difference that is causing this only to deploy and not others? Sorry? What is what is that causing this startup accounts only for deployment and not any other setups to deployment? They are already available and only startup accounts is not available even though it is configured without yeah. deployment. Because here the rules, the primary balance and segment label and natural account segment labels are assigned or not system has to verify. And the same labels are assigned to single segments or multiple segments, system has to verify. For that verification purpose, we are submitting our chart of accounts to verify. Because as a user, I may not aware how to create it, but system knows. That's how they design this solution and application develop. So for system side, that need to be verified. For that purpose, we are submitting for validation or say deployment. Okay. okay, thank you. Points need to be validated by system, which are mandatory if you want to use the chart of accounts. So if you don't assign primary balance and segment label or natural account segment label, if you are going to use the chart of accounts, there is no meaning in that. Once you understand the purpose of these two labels, you, you will see the meaning what we are trying to understand now. Okay, without, if you don't assign primary balance and segment label to company, with the company, what are the transactions you create? It doesn't follow any rule. It will become a big mess. You cannot prepare. So it. we have not yet uh, covered why these are to be attached, right? So you said yes, that. Yes, yes. Yes. We, I'll cover. I'll cover in right time. Now I can explain. But since there is no proof for, uh, for you, you, can, you may understand, may not understand. That is the reason when you can see the proof, there I'll explain about it. Yeah. Let's okay, explain. got it. Yeah. And now we'll go and create values in these three value sets. For three segments, we created three value sets, right? In these three value sets, we'll go and create the values. So done. Now go to task called as manage chart of accounts value set values. You can use this task or else you can use this task also. Manage chart of accounts value sets. Both will take us to same page. They're given as a two separate names. Like this is up to value set values. This is just up to value sets. Both will take us to same page. Anyone you can use. Click on go to task icon. Find our value set. So after creating value set also, we discussed one point. After creating value set, we just go to this tab and here we try to create the values. Do you find any difference in this page before validation and after validation means deployment? Do you notice anything? Yes, Lashman, there is some attributes allowing posting summary. Yes. Budgeting. You don't see these additional attributes before deployment. Okay. You created your chart of account structure and uh, you not at deploy. You don't see this. After deployment only, you see these additional attributes. That is the reason you should deploy. After deployment only, you have to create the values. Once you create the value set, if you try to create something, it won't display this summary, allow, allow posting, allow budgeting. Let's create one value set. You can understand it's a simple process. Say, I'll give ABC company, select module, general ledger, validation type is independent, value type is character, subtype text, Anything you can give, say so save and close. Now find that. Search. 
ABC company value set we created. Now go to manage values. You don't find anything because this value set is not assigned to any segment, okay, which is a part of chart of accounts. Even if you assign also here, it won't display anything. That chart of accounts need to be deployed. Chart of accounts need to be deployed. Then only you can get these additional values. Yeah. So this is what we have to understand. Yeah. Just notice this point, okay? So that is the reason the moment you create the value sets, you should not create the values. If you try to create the values, those attributes won't be available. Those attributes we call as value attributes. Let's see how to create the values so that you can understand about it. So go to our ERP tree company value set. This value set is already assigned to company segment, right? Click on manage values tab and click on search. Nothing we have in this value set. We didn't create any values. Let's create. Click on create. Just click on create. Here you can give the value. It is nothing but I'm canceling this. This is the value set we created, right? Click on edit. Maximum length we given four. This four digit number you can provide in that value field. Okay, here maximum length we given four. Go to manage values. Click on create value. Here you can give that four digit number for companies. Okay, max four only. We give a value set level, maximum length as a four only. So four digit I'm giving company code as thousand. I want to give company name, nothing but description as a say ERP tree consulting services. Now notice here, these are the three value attributes. Okay, discussed. We have to assign value attributes to segment values. We are creating segment value called as thousand. The name is ERP tree consulting services. This is the company name. And these three we call as value attributes. Summary. What is the meaning of summary? If summary, it is taking as a no. That means if summary is no, with this company, you can create the transactions. With this company, you can create the transactions. If you set summary as a yes, you cannot create the transactions with this company. This company you can use for reporting purpose, maybe as a parent company. Okay, so don't set summary as a yes, keep it as a no so that you can record the transactions with this company. So with this company, okay, if you want to create the transactions and process, allow posting you have to set to yes. So that with this transaction, with this company, what are the transactions you create, those you can process. Here processing is nothing but posting. That means whatever the amounts we enter in the transaction, that amounts will get updated against this company. Okay, allow posting means, allow posting if you set yes, you'll be able to create and do process those transactions to update the balances in the system. Automatically system is selecting allow posting as yes and allow budgeting. With this company, if you want to create the budget, say with this company, ERP consulting services in so-and-so month, we want to spend maximum only this much expense or in the different way, if you want to set the budgets, this allow budgeting should be yes. So when we create these values, whatever system is selecting, you can accept as it is. That's how we really require, okay? really required, where we can change these values also, we will understand going forward. Summary no means, this is the actual company where you record, where you can use this to record the transactions. Allow posting means with this company, if you create the transaction, those can be processed to update the balances. And allow budgeting means, allow budgeting yes means, with this company, you can create the transactions for those transactions, you can set a control with the budget cost. 
So this is what we have to understand. Don't change anything. Keep as this. No, no. These two are yes, yes. That's all. These three we call as value attributes. These three we call as value attributes. Now one note for EBS. Like if somebody from EBS background, the segment labels what we are calling here as for EBS, those are flex field qualifiers. Their value attributes what we are calling these we have in EBS as a segment qualifiers. Segment labels are equal to EBS flex field qualifiers. Value attributes are equal to EBS segment qualifiers. Okay, this is a note. Fine, let's create values, few more values. Click on add. Let's click on add to create few more values into this value set. I'm giving 2000. Another company I'm giving ERP3 financial services. So you don't need to touch this value attributes. Accept as this. So max it allows four digits only. I'm going to try with more than four. I'll give the name as ERP3. BPO services. Done. Now see, if I try to save it, you'll get a message. Company code we given in four digits for this value set. Level. It allows values with the max four digits. But here I'm trying to create this company with the five digits. It is giving the same message. The value 30,000 is too long. Okay. In the value set called as ERP3 company, the length of this value cannot exceed four characters. Yeah, that is the rule we set in the value set level. So the value size should be max four digits. And say save and close. Now you can save it, it will allow. So this is how you can create values in company value set. Okay, company value set. Anytime you can add additional values. Now we created three values, 1000, 2000, 3000. Okay, whether they need 10, 20, 30, or 100, 200, 300, or 1000, 2000, 3000, how they need company codes, client will decide. The client says this is how we need the company codes. Accordingly, we have to create in the system. Okay, now we created the four digits. So this is what we have to understand about values creation. Say so save and close. Same way we can create values for other values in source. Let's see how to create the values for a department. Go to department value set. Here you can see your pretty department value set. Okay, select this record, click on manage values. No departments. If you click on search, you don't see any departments. We didn't create any departments. Click on create. For department value set level also, we given maximum length as a four, right? Here you can create the values with the four digits. Any digit, any number you can take. I'm, I'm taking thousand. You can take different the codes. Okay. So as per reality, you can provide how client need accordingly. You can provide for our practice purpose. Let's take for a department code also thousand. The department name is finance department. Say 2000 HR department, 3000 sales department, 4000 say marketing department, say 5000. R&D department. So this is how you can create. When you create this department values, automatically system is selecting the value attributes. Okay, you don't need to change all this. Accept as this. So save and close. How to create the parent company, parent departments? Those also will discuss. Okay, but now just see how to create these values. 
Now one more segment we have account segment. For account segment we have account value set. Search account value set. When you create account segment, we have to assign the account is which type of account, which nature of account that we have to set. So account type or say account nature. So here we discussed few accounts. When you are going to maintain accounts in that account value set, salaries means which type of account that is. Okay. Cash means which type of account. Purchase here, this which type of account, this is which type of account. All these accounts we have to set the type or you can say nature. So we have five type of accounts. Expense, revenue, okay, assets, liability, ownership or owner's equity you can say. These are the five type of accounts. When you create any account in the value set, the account type is expense type of account or revenue or asset or liability you have to set. You have to set that is a mandatory. Now tell me for account segment, which label we assign? For account segment, which label we assign? Natural accounting label. Why we assign? We are going to see now. Okay, why we assign? We are going to see. Click on manage values. Click on add. Now see here for company department, which value attribute system is taking? For company and department segment values, which value attribute system is displaying? Allo posting, allo budgeting. Summary, allo posting, allo budgeting. These three value attributes is displayed. For account segment related value set, it is showing few additional value attributes. What are those? Account type, third party control account, reconcile, financial category. How it is showing these four additional value attributes? Because we assign natural account segment label to account segment. To account segment only, we assign that value set through this account segment. Okay, this natural account segment label is adding those four additional value attributes into account value set. If you assign natural account segment label to any segment, to that segment which value set is assigned within that value set when you create values you can find the four additional value attributes that means you can say if you assign natural account segment label to account segment when you create account values with the help of respective value set system will display additional four value attributes so this is the purpose we assign if you don't assign natural account segment label to account segment, it will display only these three labels, three value attributes. Okay, these three value attributes only it will display. It won't display this. Out of this, for every value, account type is mandatory. The rest, different, those are the different functionalities, different features. If you want to implement those, you can use, otherwise, no issues at all. But for every account, what type of account is that you have to select? account is expense account or revenue or asset or liability ownership, you should select. If you want to select, you require this field. How do you get the field? If you assign natural account segment label to account segment, to account segment value set, when you create the values, you can find these four additional value attributes. To get these four additional value attributes, for account related value set level, we assign natural account segment label to account segment. So now system will allow to select the nature of account, whether that is asset account or expense account or liability account or owner's equity account or revenue account. 
These two values don't consider as account types, those are related to budget. These five only account types. So this is a point we have to understand here. Okay, this is a point we have to understand. So if you assign natural account segment label to account segment, it will add four additional attributes. Say for example, by mistake, I assign natural account segment label to account segment. What will happen? You can. No secret in this. What will happen if I assign natural account segment label to company segment? What will happen? There will be an error. When you create the company values, those four additional value attributes, right? Do you think for company values, account type is required? No. Not required. Say by mistake, you assign natural account segment label to company and you save. Later, you realized and you removed. But if you go to company value set, you will find those four additional value attributes. Now you have to create your chart of accounts once again. That means you have to be very careful which label you have to assign to which segment. By mistake, if you assign natural account segment label to company or department, okay, after that, even if you remove that label from company and department, still it will display those four additional value attributes for company and department segment value set. Okay, so that is the reason once you assign, you cannot reverse what system will apply. That is the reason. We have to be very careful what label you have to assign to which segment. This is what we have to understand. Hope it is clear for us why we assign natural account segment label to account. Okay, to set the nature for that account related values, we are assigning the natural account segment label. Let's create few values. Okay, the reality all the accounts client will provide along with account types. You no need to decide anything which account is which type all the accounts client will provide, how client will provide and uh, in which format and all those also we are going to discuss maybe after two or three classes. There is a concept called as a rapid implementation. There will come to know everything like how to create the chart of accounts as per reality with the seven or eight segments. So how client will provide the company <coughs> departments, accounts, etc. Okay. So what are the other points we have to understand based on the data, everything will go through. So that it would be very clear to us. But now let's try to understand how to create the account values in the account value set. So we give it maximum length as a five, right? If you look at this value set, click on edit, you can see what length we given five digits. Company codes you can create in the five digits. You tell me what is the objective of every company? What is the objective of every company? Profit revenue. Profit. For that, we create an account in the system that we call as returned earnings account. Okay, returned earnings account is nothing but net income account or say surplus account. How do you get returned earnings? Okay. How much revenue, revenue minus expense? Yes. How much expense you spend? That is your net income or you can say surplus. So you got 20 lakhs revenue, you spent 15 lakhs expense, your net income is 5 lakhs. To identify this, this that net income or surplus, we have to create return earnings account. In every chart of accounts as a part of value set, very primary account is return earnings account. Even as a, as a part of setups also, the very initial account, what we need is return earnings account. When we are going to do further setups, we need this account. So we'll go and create this return earnings account also along with a few other accounts. So go to manage values. Click on add. You can enter any five digit value. Return earnings. And allow budgeting, allow posting summary, it is selecting accept it. Rest of all it is selecting third party control account is selecting no, reconcile it is selecting no. 
financial category is optional it is not taking anything except as it is when we deal with those concepts we will discuss for now those are not required to create the values so return earnings account type is owner's equity okay return earnings account type is owner's equity the rest of few more accounts will create and will set the nature account type as we discussed here, we can create few accounts. So when you create values, what sequence we follow, how we do the grouping and all, those all will discuss in the concept called as a rapid implementation. Okay. So very soon we will work on that rapid implementation concept. They will come to know how the reality will be when we maintain all these values. For now, testing purpose, you can give any number, no issues. I'm going to create an account called as HSBC cash account. So you have one HSBC bank account. For that, you have to maintain one separate cash account. So that cash account, what is the type of account is? Which type of account is this cash account? Asset. Asset. Select it. So all the accounts with the type client will provide. Okay, how the sample data looks like, that also we will discuss and click on add, let's create few more values. Okay, just click on add. Any number you can give for our testing purpose, later we'll discuss how this grouping takes place, how reality, how we can group these accounts also we will discuss. Now here I'm giving one account called as salaries account. Salaries is which type of account? Expense. Expense. So these are enough okay, for our testing. These are enough. Later, we need many accounts. How to get all those accounts, we will discuss in the class itself. Say save and close. Say save and close. Still, if you have any questions, let me know. Why we assign natural account segment label to account segment? If you have any questions on this, please. To get those four additional value attributes only, we assign out of that the primary one is account type. The account type, you can set the nature for that account. If you don't assign natural account segment label to account, what values you are creating, system cannot understand and we cannot understand. And it doesn't work when you create the transactions. That is the reason every account should be specified with the nature, nothing but type. Okay, done. Fine. Hello. Yeah, please. So uh, we have created a value set for 1000, 2000, 3000 like company codes. So that is created under ERPT company code. So it is like with different business units or what, uh, 1000, 2000, 3000 which you created. I'll explain when we talk about that concept. Yes, exactly. That is the point. What you are telling that is true. Yeah, thanks. Each Business unit only, we use one balance and segment value. We'll talk about all those. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it would be discussion between you and me only. Yeah. yeah thanks, sir. Thanks. Yeah. The point is correct. What you said, that is the point is correct. The same. Yeah. So now we are ready with our chart of accounts. Okay. Now we are ready with our chart of accounts. So in tomorrow's session, what we will do is by using our chart of accounts and our accounting calendar, currency, and something else. We have to create certain definitions in the system. What are those? What we call? So what are the points we have to understand related to that? We will discuss in tomorrow's session and we'll create in the system also. Okay. So we are ready with our accounting calendar. And we are ready with our chart of accounts. And we are ready with our currency. Accounting calendar we created, chart of accounts we created, currency or at least provided. With these three components, we can create the transaction. Before you go and create the transactions in the system, by using these components, what we have to create, and that we will discuss in the tomorrow session, and we'll create the same in the system. And we'll try to create the transactions if possible in the tomorrow session itself. So we're done for today. Okay, we're done for today. If you have any questions, you can stay back. We will discuss. Okay, if no questions,
we can yes, sir. yeah i'll wait i'll wait definitely i'll wait so we're done for today if you have any questions you can stay back or else no further discussions thank you all yes, regarding recorded videos within 12 pm it will be sent it will be good i think yeah i'll i'll do that by afternoon i'll try to send every day okay okay thank you hi lakshman this is ranjit please ranjit uh, earlier i have attended first two classes and this is my third class due to some personal reason i haven't attended the rest classes okay uh, yeah so if i go through the recording videos so i can get the idea right yeah recorded videos already i'm sharing we are as of now the recorded videos we are posting in the youtube yes yes okay the youtube you can access those as of now later we'll move to uh, google drive yeah okay. okay as of now you can access yeah as of now i have completed the coa already yeah. so See i here. don't have basic idea Yeah, you can go to playlist i created playlist yeah okay this is our uh, current batch okay uh hey hi lakshman yeah. you can go through yes, yes. hello yeah, yeah please yeah uh, lakshman i have mailed you yesterday regarding some certification uh, so have you seen that mail can you please share the required material if possible sure sure, sure. i'll check and i'll get Sure, sure. Shubham, sure. this side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah. Any other questions? Lakshman, uh, I did not receive any mail regarding the instance details and the share. I verified yesterday. Also, you said okay. You sent email, but I didn't. Uh, I, I I just verified. I don't uh, see any email. Could if you don't mind, can you send me the text mail now so that after class I will revert to that. Uh. Uh, is that the correct email id erp dot com at the rate gmail dot com correct so i send it thrice uh, also in evening i am send it again to you but i am sorry i am really sorry please send me now test mail i'll send you immediately okay please yeah lakshman good question Uh, when you store some data, right? Uh, like say, for example, the chart of account or creating an user. So in R two L, like uh, when you go like uh, the record history or whatever it is, so we mm -hmm. can see the table. In the same way, like is there is any option in the fusion, mm -hmm. like uh, whenever we store the data in the application form page or you know the web page, so we can we check like what table it is hitting. Yeah, in EBS, yes, record level you can see the record is getting stored in which table, but in the fusion they are not giving that option. Okay, I'll I'll take you through where you can see all the tables. We have one so called as a, where you can write in SQL queries in that session. I'll show you, but when you talk about okay, checking something, who created and all, who created, when they created, that you can see. Okay, but where the data will get stored, you cannot see. So, for example, you can go to accounting calendar, manage accounting calendar. So please go on mute. After question, my request when I speak, you can go on mute. So, so you take example. So, this is one of the record. Who created this? You want to know? Okay, you can go to view. Say so about this record. This person. This user is created. This record. When they created, this is the date and time. Who updated? Same. By default, who created? Same date and user. It will take as update. So in EBS, like this, if you go to about that record, you will see the table name also where this calendar information will get stored. In Fusion, they are not giving that information. But I'll take you through where you can find all the tables. Okay. And we deal with the okay. where you can write SQL query in that session. I'll I'll show you that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. So somebody said they are not able to find their value set till the uh, the person is in the class or not. No response. Any questions from anyone, please. 
So can I ask one question relating to the previous uh, about the calendar? Yeah, yeah. Now we can discuss anything. We are now. now we are. Yeah, yeah. So I have seen that uh, the calendars were created for uh, fiscal year twenty two and twenty three. Is it uh, that only we can create once only two years, or is it we can we multiple we years? Multiple, multiple years. Multiple years you can create. Only the point is you have to go and click on create next year. Mm -hmm. So is it mandatory like in some other ERPs like for the depreciation projections etc. You have to have your calendar set for the life of the asset uh, so that the depreciation no, no. takes. Yeah, yeah. You don't have such kind of rule here in uh, fusion. So for depreciation yeah. purpose, you create the separate calendar in the fixed assets application. Along with that, we will use this calendar also, accounting calendar. But there is no such kind of rule as per that life of asset depreciation period. You have to create the periods now. So see, when we move to end of this year, we have to make sure that next year periods are ready. That's all. That's enough. So definitely two years must be there, not more than two years are required at the initial yeah. stage. Reality, when we do the implementation, we create for two to three years. That's all. Later, yeah, okay. then we can add the periods into calendar. Okay, so yesterday somebody was using the chart of accounts uh, table. That's why we could not save the record, right? Is there a way to find out who was no. uh, holding that, or uh, is there an option to get that person out of the system, like not through well. any other admin roles? That, that DBA can do that. Okay, if you want to do that, DBA can do that. Okay, so we we cannot. We don't have such kind of access. Okay. Lakshman, I am facing an issue saying that a segment doesn't have a corresponding segment instance okay. and uh, yeah, segment code is equal to company. That is the error which I am facing. Okay. Oh, fine. We will check that. So which instance are you using? Same instance? Uh, no. That is uh, test.login. No, there will be some number. See, this number is dev 52. You see here. Dev one second. I think I have to pin you so that you can. How to send you directly? I think you are using very old instances. Are you from the same batch or some previous batch? Previous batch, last one. Oh, that is a wrong instance you are using. Okay, send me test mail. I'll I'll share these related instances. Okay, that's one. Yeah. And also, I sent you last one for asking the CV and uh, and I requested you and other things as well in the email. Okay. This is Mahadev. Yeah, I'll see that Mahadev. Yeah. Anyway, now you send the test mail. Based on that, I can trace out those also. I'll share the instance credentials, latest one. Oh, uh, sir, one doubt. Can I Please. ask now? Sir, uh, with the whatever we are studying right now, uh, going through in the classes, this is related to general ledger only, right? So, uh, can I just go ahead and say in my interview that I we are uh, we are uh, learning or pursuing general ledger related. Stuff for now. Obviously, the point is what we are discussing. About, this is not only for general ledger application. If you want to create the transactions in any application, what are the setups we are doing now? Those are required. Okay. The yeah. chart of accounts we require in all the applications. Okay. So, uh, so as of now, this is just the beginning. So we cannot quote that we are uh, learning or uh, we are in between of learning in my interviews. No, I really, really sorry. What is your question? So uh, can I start giving the interviews for now? Uh, as of now, I have not uh, uh, built any resume for the... Or complete your course. Complete your course and you can start with that process. Okay. See, we are in the very beginning, right? We are in the very beginning. Even we not yet completed 10%. Okay. Okay, yeah, sir. Yes. So I think 5% uh, we completed. It's again introduction, right? Uh, initial mm -hmm. 
three four classes introduction just last two sessions only we are going through the basic setups like calendar chart up yeah. okay so fine don't don't plan now okay you just start preparing you are a bit hurry to get the job and all whatever we completed get ready practice go through theoretically okay after few classes i'll take one session to discuss how you have to prepare for your interviews okay so what are the points we have to consider? i mean yes like, sir think yeah, that will help focus. when uh, when you get some question how to answer those points also i'll explain i'll take one separate session so there yes, sir. that will help sir yeah okay we'll do that thank you sir i have a question related to segment sequencing sir please so we have sequenced say company 1 and then account 2 so if there is a gap you said we will we'll get some error right correct exactly so uh, okay um, and this sequencing will be you know um, discussed in the rapid implementation as well right and the excel file yes exactly all right so if there is a gap definitely this will not be we will not be able to deploy that right uh, the no, no, in those no, no. deployment it will allow when you create the transactions, it will throw error messages. Deployment will happen. Okay. Deployment is not going to validate that point. Okay. So when we are entering the values, it will give us an error. Saying you create transaction, transaction, business transaction. Okay. Okay. On so and so segment, whichever is missing the sequence. Yes, yes, exactly. All right. Will you be walking us through that as well when we are doing it live? Don't don't do mistake. That's what I am suggesting. That's all. By doing mistake, right. we are not going to test anything. Got it. Got it. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you. Yeah. And Lakshman, I I, I just think you have to understand. By doing that, I have to show. That is the reason I showed like I removed labels and I showed like how it works. Yeah. 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 And deployment because that's more relevant where you really come across. That we should not do mistake. That's what we have to understand. Good, good. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah please. Uh, Lakshman, I just sent you an email. Uh, this is oh, Mahadev. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll check and reward for sure. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Sir, uh, yeah, regarding the chart of account links, how to get a uh, credential in the links? I need to drop email to you. Yes, you can send me test mail in order to see. Sure, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Any other questions from anyone, please? So, Lakshman, I also send the test mail to you. Yeah, send me, send me. Any, anyone. Yeah. It is good if you send me today. So, today is the holiday, so I can do the practice from I'll, my I'll side. I'll just I'll go through the emails after ending, uh, after closing this session. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Lakshman. Yeah. Thank you. So, if no questions, we can wind up. If any questions from anyone, please. Sir, I have one question. Please. So if in the chart of accounts, if we created three segments like company and department and account, if any case, if we are disabled like a department, like not required. So while creating transaction, uh, if uh, only two values like with company and accounting, is it possible if, if it is work for that chart of accounts? You can do that sometimes in the future, say you don't want to capture the data for so and so segment that you can do that. You can make. And okay, if sir. you want to increase the segments also, you can increase. But for that, there is one point which you have to understand. That I'll explain in the rapid implementation related uh, session. Okay. So, okay, sir. Yeah, got it. Thank we you. can do all those things and we can set the defaults also when we create transactions. We'll discuss all those points. Yes, that is possible. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sir, uh, so far uh, that we covered, whatever is the content that we covered, right? Uh, could you please share the interview questions as well so that we can practice and then also you know, work on the interview questions oh, as well? I'll, I'll cover that after some time because now what we discuss not much. Okay. 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 So more information like as an introduction for your basic understanding about application. The core okay. part is very few parts. Okay. Talent, uh -huh. chart of accounts only. What you really have to learn from this. But rest you have to be aware of this. Mostly from those you don't get any questions. Okay. You may get the questions on what is a SAS pass or else ignore it. They don't worry about because as a consultant, we are not going to do anything with that. Yeah. Okay. Let me cover a okay. few more topics. Okay. Let me cover a few more topics. I'll take you through how to start your interview preparation. 
All right, sir. Thank you. <laughs> we'll do it. Thanks. Any other questions? No questions. So then that's all for today. We'll connect tomorrow same time. Thank you all.